Amac on the mix. Ugh. Yo, what up, guys? It's your girl Amac back with another quick tip. And today I want to talk about input monitoring. I notice a lot of newer engineers either don't know what it is or don't know how to use it properly. Now, all input monitoring means is that you're monitoring the input of your signal and not the output. And why that's important is if you can't monitor the input during playback, you're not going to be able to hear the artist in the booth and you're going to completely lose communication. You never want to do that. So I'm going to show you why this works. I have some pre-recorded audio here. Um, so now I'm gonna play it during playback. I don't even need so to you can still hear me while I'm talking like over top of the audio right yeah, now. So I, I can really tell you to like stop, start, whatever. But now if I take it out of input monitoring and just leave the track armed and play back. I don't even need to record this, but I really like that auto tune. So you couldn't hear anything I was saying there because we weren't we were no longer monitoring the input and we were only monitoring the output of this session. Uh, now, for example, sometimes engineers like to keep the track up here and they want to hear playback. If you have input monitoring on, you can't hear it. You can only hear me talking. So it's good to have a track to be able to drop down to. So now you can hear the playback and you can hear the artist. Uh, so if you're not on it, get on that input monitoring and keep the communication open at all times. And that's all I got for y'all today.